All right, party people, welcome to a bonus video. And it's all about celebrating Christmas in RF4. One of the first things you'll notice at the moment in the game are these snowmen that are selling some awesome limited edition gear. All right, so firstly, let's check out the food. And just like normal, in the current build of this game, food isn't vital. But buying a fish lollipop or chocolate fish is kind of fun. However, it is worth noting if you're a brand new player and you haven't made it to making tea or coffee yet, a bowl of fish soup, a cup of tea, or bitten are all great ways to replenish your energy and comfort. But again, nothing in here is actually required. Takes us out of the food station and across to some gear. And as always, Christmas has some fantastic cool limited edition gear to grab. And as far as my recommendations go, I really like these hazel rods, just because it looks like a stick. It looks really cool. So if you like a bit of fun factor and you can afford the $90, grab three of these. Now, if you're a little bit further along in the game, I highly recommend the BK-8 Telestick. With a 9 kilo rating, these are fantastic for whitefish or anything smaller. I've owned three of these 8 meter rods since last Christmas and the durability is fantastic. And as you can see, everything is the same as last year with the exception of the Overlord. Last year, the Overlord model was an Overlord 87. This year, it's an Overlord 88. And this appears to have all the same stats as last year. Now, with the 451 ratio, this is a bit of a slower retrieval speed on this reel. So it definitely leans its way more to carp fishing sturge rather than trolling around for salmon. Now, typically, an 8000 series reel means it's going to hold a little bit less line than the 10,000 series. But don't let that put you off this reel. This holds a lot of line. It's a big spool. So if you are at the point in the game where you're considering buying Tagaras, keep the Overlords in mind as they are a few thousand dollars cheaper than a Tagara. And if you're setting yourself up with three reels, that's obviously a significant saving to you. Another thing worth considering is the fishing line here. 500 meters of 31 kilo line for 100 bucks is rather cheap. But just be aware, in comparison to other braids, this is quite thick braid. So if you're trying to chase every extra meter you can cram on that spool, these aren't for you. Now, obviously, if you can afford it, grab every single lure but i must admit these sets of lures don't come up a great deal in the leaderboard so if you can't afford them don't stress just make sure you save enough money for next year boilies aren't really worth grabbing unless you can afford it with the exception of the beetroot dip and corn syrup most of these flavors can be bought in a normal tackle store so unless you're flash with cash i just save your money if you can afford it grab these cork floats as the visibility is fantastic in the water I really like these feather floats as they're fantastic for tiny species fish like loach, stickleback, dace, gudgeon, you name it. If it's tiny, these are fantastic. If you're up to the point in bait fishing in the game, these might be worth having a bit of a look at. These little cages are nice and cheap, so they're definitely worth grabbing a set of these. And then that finally brings me to my favorite Christmas items in the store. If you are even remotely close to getting towards match rods, make sure you grab an 8, 12, 14 of the blue, the same with the red, and the same with the yellow. I absolutely love the visibility of these waggler floats. They are far, far greater than anything else you can get in a normal tackle store. Even if you're not into float fishing, just like myself, I absolutely recommend grabbing a full set of these waggler floats. They seriously make your life so much easier when it comes to match rod fishing. The white visibility and the three separate colors means you can run three float rods without any issue at all, as you can easily identify which color belongs to which rod. All right, so that's it for my recommendations on the limited edition Christmas gear. How about now I show you how to catch some prizes? All right, so in order to catch prizes in the game, you need to be on Mosquito Lake and we're gonna be heading right down to this little dock area here. Okay, so right in front of the fish market, if we turn around to the water, head down to the water, we will see a brand new little sign. We can see New Year's gifts, so let's open up the sign. Okay, so if we read the instructions, we can see catch fish with a telly stick rod. We can only use telly stick rod. And as we can see through the list, there are a lot of prizes to catch. So we're gonna stand right on the dock here. We're gonna hold down U. Okay, beautiful. We've got all our rods set up. So just press one to bring out that telly stick and we're just gonna cast it in the water. And happy hour is activated. Even though I'm not a premium member, the fantastic developers at RO4 are giving away free premium at the moment. Now the way this basically works is a fish is going to bite like normal. We have a chance of that fish converting to a prize. So if we lift up on the rod, okay, so this time we've got a fish, all good. 
let's cast back in for another one. Now, because we don't really care about catching fish, we're after prizes. So my recommendation is run a small hook. The smaller the better. So we have our best chance of that fish converting to a prize. Oh, this looks nice and heavy. I reckon it might be a prize. There it is. Second cast, we've got a prize. Let's put out the net and scoop up our gift bag. Now we have two options when we catch a gift bag. We can obviously just open it straight away to see what the prize is, or we can keep everyone in suspense and just put it in our backpack. Now it's up to you if you want to run just the one telly stick or if you want to run two or three. The most important thing is you're able to strike on the float at the appropriate time. Oh, third cast, we might have another prize, or no, that actually might actually be a fish. Oh, what's it doing? No, that's a fish. That's a fat fish. Definitely space bar with this one. Here it comes. I reckon that might be a trophy. Yeah, baby. It ain't no gift bag, but I'll take it. Now, I will take this opportunity just to show I wouldn't necessarily advise running these free bamboo rods for this, as they are a 3.8 kilo rod only running 2.2 kilo line. If you're only going to use one telly stick here, I would advise running the one we originally got when we first started the game. As it's a four kilo rod running three kilo line, straight away that's an instant upgrade for us. However, as I mentioned before, grab the tiny hook. We want our best chance of getting as many gift bags as possible. So let's pop on the smaller hook. We can just run worms. That's perfectly fine here. As I've mentioned before, nighttime's typically pretty slow fishing in this game. So if you wanted to duck off to the tackle shop to buy some stronger fishing line, it is probably a worthwhile investment, as catching these prizes can be a seriously fantastic upgrade for brand new players. Now, if you find your bite rate's a little bit slow, remember, we can adjust that float depth by pressing plus and minus on the keyboard. Or if we hold down the letter B for bait, we can try changing our bait over to a different flavor. Now, if that little float window is looking a bit different on your screen, you can press escape, go to your settings. The extra camera on float is on that first screen down the bottom left. We can even bump it up to a large if we want. I like it at the bottom center and show always. Apply, okay, escape. Now look at the size of that window. But of course, you can always press Z to zoom in on the float. Okay, so this looks like another the prize. Now I want to take this opportunity to show you a bit of a different technique in the game. In previous years they have given us some gag gifts in this spot by catching kettlebells and irons which obviously weigh a lot and you've got to use a certain technique. So if it's a gift bag we can simply lift up on the rod and even just slowly walk backwards. We're going to be able to bring that prize out. But if this was a kettlebell or an iron the best technique to use is to actually walk back just enough to get rid of that slack out of the line and then just very slowly and gently turn to the side. Once we've turned as far as we can, just center ourselves back again, causing slack in the line and then just slowly walk backwards again and repeat. And this is the technique you'll use to catch any irons or kettlebells or whatever they've given us as a booby prize this year. Just be careful not to catch it on that little dock there. Okay, so we've almost got our simulated heavy weight out of the water. Just keep slowly bringing it up. Once we get it to the water's edge like that, we should have the ability just to walk down there Press the space bar to pull out the net and scoop it up. That's our second gift bag in 10 casts. If you are stashing those gift bags to open up later, you can press I for your inventory and you can go down to the gift section right down the bottom there. That's where you'll find any of your gift bags that you've caught. If you want to see what gift bags you got left to catch in the game, you can come back to this sign. Straight away, I can see I've caught two out of the five first gift bag. So not only do I have three more to go of that, I need to catch every single one of these as well. That's it guys for another video. I just wanted to do a quick little update so that way you guys are caught up on what to buy, where to get these gift bag prizes. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ding the bell. That way you'll be notified next time I upload a video. But in the meantime, don't forget to check out the awesome community on Twitch where there's always multiple people running live. And I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, ciao for now.